I've signed up for my first ultra marathon 50k. It's coming up on the 11th of September 2021. 2021. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Chris Ferling here and we're all about running, lifestyle and everything in between. And today it is week number three for the SCC 50K training plan. That is for the Surf Coast Century 50K. And that is coming up on September the 11th. And oh, jeepers, this is, I can't believe we're already in week number three. And today will be run number 11. And it's been raining all night. It's meant to be raining right now and it's kind of stopped. So I'm just doing a sneaky little cheeky run while I can between the break and I've got to do a fartlek today now if you don't know what fartlek is I think it's means speed play in Sweden or Swedish sorry uh, so I've got a whole bunch of different things that I need to do so should be about a 20 minute workout I haven't done one of these before uh, so yeah let's let's see let's get out there it's probably likely going to start raining so I have tried to keep this run as short as possible so we just have to Embrace the elements, I guess. Embrace the elements. Uh, we're just gonna listen to some tunes. Let's uh, let's get cracking. You coming? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well done, 21 minutes. Oh, that was uh, that was tougher than I thought. It's that. Whew. What's interesting is you start off with longer gaps, and then you know you have less recovery time, but you have to keep showing up. So definitely haven't done that before. Quite quite a challenge. I was in my uh, trail running shoes today as well. I need to get used to those as well, but because it's wet and wild out here, luckily it hasn't really been raining. It's just starting to drizzle now, so. We've done some pretty good timing. We're gonna have a look at the stats. Very curious to see the, the graph, see how it is. I've probably sped up a bit too much in some of the shorter spurts just because I'm trying to realize finding that 5.30 pace. So I don't think I mentioned at the start, but my target was when doing speed is 5.30, just a bit playing it safe around that number. I think some of those I've done way too quick just because you've only got 15 seconds to go fast. So you. You take off real quick, which which is okay. It's, it's okay. Um, so we'll, we'll have a look at that. It's just sinking now, and here comes the rain. So very good timing. All right, it's just come through. 3.5k basically. 21 minutes, 6:02 pace, averaged, and 141 heart rate, which is which is pretty good with the speed play. So let's just jump straight over to the to the details. But you can see here how we've gone, and heart rate wise as well climbing the whole way through the average pace of a run was 524 now i was aiming for 530 so that's pretty good and then recovery i averaged around a 644 pace so pretty solid stuff i'm pretty happy with all this heart rate was good um all right and it hasn't even gotten that wet even better all right folks well that's that's today this week we are meant to be getting hit with constant rain basically the entire week now obviously if i can find patches like this where it's not too bad I'll be out here running, but if it's crazy pouring, I'm going to have to find some alternatives. Anyway, appreciate being here. Um, if you haven't realized, I do have timestamps below as well. You can jump around, have a look around and see what's floating your boat, whether it's me talking about a book, me talking about a type of run or whatnot. But of course, open to feedback. Anyway, let's jump over to Wednesday. Let's go. All right, it is Wednesday morning and we are back at it again. It is about six degrees at the moment, seven degrees maybe and uh, it's meant to be raining in about in about 30 minutes and I've got a 40 minute run to do. So, <laughs> it's Wednesday today, uh, feeling pretty good. Um, slept better today and just keen to get out and get this done before the rain comes. It's meant to be raining all week. Now, I know I said that yesterday and it didn't really rain, but it rained afterwards. So, let's see if I can keep everything aligned and just get out there and get this done in time. Uh, just cruising today, 40 minutes, uh, slow and steady, just per usual. I won't actually be listening to any book today just because I'm between my Audible credits. Uh, so that should switch over very soon. Uh, so probably just going to put some tunes on and just, just take it slow. Uh, some slow moving tunes, that is. I don't want any of this speed stuff, stuff. And yeah, just get out and cruise. Probably end up doing around, what, 40 minutes? We're probably looking at around, yeah, between 6 and 7K around there somewhere. Um, cool. All right, well. See you out there, folks. Let's go.
Alright, 1k in fact, averaging it around a 7 pack. Not too bad. 7, seven minutes in fact. Right, let's keep cruising, let's keep cruising. Not too bad. Looks like the rain's gonna stay away. All right, team, we're 4K in, 26 minutes, and uh, feeling good. We're almost done. Just got some uh, tunes going, and one of my favorite, favorite uh, artists is called Tony Anderson. It's like synth, but it's focused, and it just brings a whole bunch of mindfulness for me. So, got that happening at the moment, and that stuff, it's what dreams are made of. Have a listen. Anyway, let's keep rocking, let's keep charging. We're almost done. 13 minutes to go. Getting it done, team. There we go, 40 minutes. Nice, nice 6K right there. 6.39 pace, I've done well, I've pulled up all right. Music today has been wonders. It didn't really speed me up too much, uh, but it's just nice to just cruise. Here comes the yard. Yeah. It's just nice to cruise and just uh, hang out with myself and just think about some things, reflect. One thing that's been uh, definitely the battle at the moment is being happy of where I'm at because I am I'm, 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 I've progressed really really well this year and it's great but at the same time that's a motivator for me to continue to get to where I want to be and it sometimes is a struggle and you can get overwhelmed with the uh, I guess the challenge of seeing what everyone else is doing and how things are progressing or hearing about other people's stories and I mean, I'm, I'm one to always share the good stuff, but it's, you know, sometimes this is the reality of it. It is overwhelming. I'm gonna throw the stats up on screen. You can have a look. It's been a pretty good run. Battery's about to die. And uh, yeah, appreciate you being here. Let's jump on over to Thursday tomorrow. I think it's a 30 minute run, not too bad. So I'll see you in a jiffy, uh, but yeah, it's a good run. All right, team, we are back, and today is actually Friday. I was meant to be here Thursday, but after yesterday, it was some crazy, crazy weather. Um, like windy, just raining, and things falling over. So I decided not to run yesterday, and I figured I'll just rest yesterday, and I'll get out here today. So today's Friday, we're doing 30 minutes of just slow and steady, just cruising. Um, yeah, should be pretty good, and it's such a nice morning. It actually feels like Saturday weather. For some reason, Saturdays usually start like this, but it's nice and foggy, it's fresh, it's not too cold. Um, <clears throat> super keen to get out. And some good news is the lockdown is somewhat lifted. We've got a 25k radius now. Um, still have to wear masks and, and things like that, but don't have to do them outside. But um, not, not perfect, but hey, it's progress and a step in the right direction. So I'm pretty happy. Just gonna listen to some tunes today, get out and cruise. Um, yeah, let's let's do it, folks. Let's do it. Let's. Uh, Feeling all right, feeling all right. It'll be interesting for the rest of this week because we've got some back-to-backs, but we'll talk about that when we get back. Let's go. Oh, it is fresh. I love these mornings. Just so fresh, pretty, calm. Ah, that's what it's all about.
30 minutes done and underestimated the uh, the route I took. <laughs> Tried to spice it up, but and I was about almost 32 minutes, but it's okay, it's okay. What a run. Uh, first thing up is um, my Achilles and heels feeling a bit sore, probably just a bit stiff from yesterday, maybe. <sighs> There's that yawn. I didn't really get out to walk yesterday, so probably just feeling a bit stiffness. Probably didn't stretch enough, but they're okay. Uh, run was good otherwise. Heart rate was trending high, and we'll have a look at that in a second, but not sure too why. Probably maybe just being colder, I'm breathing heavier, I don't know. Felt fine though, felt fine. Just, yeah, who knows? Combination of things probably, but all in all, pretty happy with this run. It's a beautiful morning, it's so good. Check it out, sun and ah, it's all good stuff. But look, run was pretty good, not much elevation, but 30 minutes on feet. Um, now, unfortunately, I'm not, not at Carla's this weekend, so we're not running together again, simply because of the 25K radius. <sighs> So tomorrow, Saturday, I'll do another 30 minute run and then Sunday is a two hour long run. Now we're starting to get into the, to the long, I think we're, what, this is week three and we're already at two hour runs, jeepers. No mucking around. Um, oh, I've done it before, we'll do it again. All right, so what have I got on today? Well, uh, Friday is usually my video editing and podcast editing day. Uh, so I've got to do a bit of that. I am filming a new podcast today and uh, recording and that is with Aaron from over at uh, Fit Lab. Uh, if you haven't checked out his channel go check it out but super super keen to to get on top of that one and uh, have a good chat with him and uh, probably do some mail runs today and yeah just 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 cracking on and hustling away getting things done so yeah all right let's jump over to tomorrow Saturday and uh, I'll see you in a second. All right team we are back and we are run number 14 it's uh, very dark and gloomy, very, very dark and gloomy. It's uh, that's quarter to eight in the morning on Saturday, and we're doing 60 minutes, just another cruisy 60, oh, sorry, we're doing 30 minutes. We're not doing 60 minutes, we're doing 30 minutes, just a cruisy 30 minutes, and uh, should be slow and steady, just so, just around that, between that four and a half to 5K mark. Um, it's expected to be wet, so I am wearing some trail running shoes. Uh, just to, you know, I don't, care too much if they get back get wet and yeah so just going to listen to some tunes this morning and I'll start a new book tomorrow for the long run which is two hours I'm glad the weather is going to be better tomorrow um, it's expected that the rain is coming in about 20 minutes so probably gonna get a little wet hopefully not but we'll see we'll see the uh, GoPro struggles in this weather like this gloomy weather they just the lighting just screws it over so I do apologize if it's not that exciting to look at this is uh, winter, the worst part of winter. Dark, gloomy, wet, wild. It's actually not wild, it's just wet and eh. Anyway, don't let this be the reflection of your day. <laughs> uh, let's get out there, let's get it done. minutes in folks halfway feeling feet tight actually it's not even the feet it's once again it's probably more of the Achilles to be honest it's all right slow and steady slow and steady wins the race Woo. Ah, light and easy keep charging let's go team let's go hello <laughs> yeah. Ooh, nice, nice. Definitely uh heavy feet kind of run, just whew, slow and steady, just pounded more so, but it's alright, it is what it is no point pushing or overdoing it when tomorrow's the two hours so <sighs> always know when I've done the good at the best effort is get the yawn straight away <sighs> all right team so honestly yeah feeling feeling sore down in the in the feet um, 
down in the Achilles. Not too concerned by this, I am rotating shoes a bit so the muscles will be adjusting to it. Plus, <clears throat> these trail running shoes do not have the support that my other shoes have. So I'm not too concerned, this is normal. I was feeling this with my other training plans as well. Plus just getting up the load. I just need to be careful here because you know you don't want to overdo it. So just being mindful of that. Slowing down when I needed to, which is what I've done. I've probably done a, yeah, just shy of a seven pace. So I'll have a look at the stats quickly, see how we've gone. And uh, yeah, then it's breakfast time and getting getting on over to uh, Kevin Xconde's live stream. Feast Friday, it's Saturday here, he's in Canada. So Friday for him. All right, let's have a look at the stats. 4.37, 30 minutes and 25 seconds, 658 pace, 151 heart rate, a bit higher than I would have liked, 28 meters elevation, yeah, not much. And we've done 359 calories. Uh, just make sure I got that. Yeah. And then what have we got here? Definitely, uh, it was a bit of a struggle town kind of run. Heart rate was all over the place. Kept getting too high. <clears throat> Look, this run is just showing up and getting it done, and that's all that matters. So, it is what it is. Happy to be out, happy to get it done before the rain has come. And now it's breakfast time. So, I will see you tomorrow for the two hour run, or well, a couple of seconds. And <clears throat> it's when, when things get real. So, I'm excited. I get excited for this. The, oh look, I get nervous, but excited for the run at the end of the week just because it's the big run it's the challenge it's to see what i can do and there's always a bit of doubt but that's what it's all about overcoming that doubt when you're in the run so <laughs> see you now good morning folks it is run number 15 this is it the long run for the week we are back at it and we are doing two hours two hours on feet which is I don't know why I'm so nervous about this stuff but I think it's just because everything that I've done leading up to this this week you know I've been doing quite a lot and uh, plus the long run it always it always stretches you it always pushes you outside of your comfort zone and gets you yeah on that next level playing field so two hours on feet um, which means we'll probably do two loops of 7k and then probably a four to 5k loop um, and that should get us there roughly um, so I end up at home and I've got uh, some tailwind and some water. I mean, I've got the water on me, but I've got some extra water just at home. Every time I go through, I can just have a sip. Tailwind, um, yeah, otherwise just cruising. I mean, it is meant to be long run easy. Uh, so walking hills, taking it chilled. And I am listening to a new book. I will be listening to The Psychology of Money. So super excited to be starting that one as well. Uh, let me know if you've read that or listen to it, whatever, and uh, yeah, it got ranked pretty high, so I'm pretty pretty keen to give this guy a listen. All right, well, it's uh, the weather is looking okay. It's somewhat fresh, somewhat windy, and somewhat overcast, so we'll get a little bit of everything by the seams of it. All right, team, well, let's get ready, let's get rocking, and let's get out there and make it happen. Let's go. Forgot to mention, folks, I did have some food before getting out and getting this done. Uh, I had one piece of toast split in half, one with uh, peanut butter and one with honey. And uh, yeah, had some water, made sure I went to the loo, and now we're out here. Uh, let's do it. All right, team. Tailwind break. Continue on. We've done 7.4k in 50 minutes. <laughs> so, question is, do we do another seven and a half k loop, or do we do we do a bit shorter? Find out. Find out. Six K, seven point five K, seven point five K it is. Let's go. All right, team. Back two. We're at fourteen point five. 
one hour and 38 minutes. We're about 20 minutes. Just for fun. I'm gonna put on some tunes and we're gonna do about 4K, I reckon. Uh, probably not 4K. Probably 3K. Not going that fast. Good grief. All right, team. Let's do it. All right, we've got 10 minutes to go, folks. We may have sped up a little bit, but this is what it's about. Just enjoying the final moments, knowing that I'm coming home strong. Ah. I cannot explain this to you enough. It's on repeat, mate. You gotta get out, do things that you think you can't do. That's what it's all about. The final countdown. It's rock and roll. All right, final 500 meters or oh, two minutes. Let's go. Got goosebumps. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> Solid stuff. Two hours, one second off going over. <laughs> Met at home. I, I, I'm honest, I sped up at the end. <laughs> Simply just because I was having too much fun. And as I, I, I say this so much, I say it so much and I'm not gonna stop saying it, is <sighs> get out, put in the reps, put in the work, commit to the focus and get it done. And what's funny is I did an hour and a half of slow, steady, focused, easy, and then I rewarded myself with a nice little hot lap. Now I didn't do super insane speeds, but I, I definitely ramped it up. And we're going to check that in a second. It's probably put my heart rate up a bit too high, but it was well deserved. Bit of fun. Feel good. What's funny is I felt my second lap was my best lap. I felt comfortable, felt relaxed, had been in a groove, and it did. It took me a good, a good 45 minutes to really warm up. So this is the reality of it. Roller coasters all the time. Whew. Ah. We're gonna quickly have a sneak peek at the stats. Just touch on them briefly, and then we're gonna jump inside. I'm gonna have a shower. I'm gonna grab my smoothie, and we're gonna go through the week. But whew, super happy with this. Super, super happy. Whew. Ah, the book's really good too. Psychology of money, simple stuff, basic stuff, but in perspectives which are going to help you really get a better understanding of, of how everyone perceives and understands money differently and why. <sighs> Key book. All right, let's have a look at this. Uh, look at that. That is beautiful. Pace, very consistent. Somewhat anyway. And heart rate following it rising dropping rising not too bad i'm happy with this folks all right let's get inside and we'll go through all the details let's go it's good stuff all right team here we are we have done week number three and i'm totally just blown away once again i mean i've i've done volumes like this before i've done training like this before we're not really into the deep end yet but it's just, it's always, I don't know if it's humbling is the right word. I don't know. It always keeps me honest and just reminds me that, you know, I'm doing better than sometimes I give myself credit for. And, you know, we, we can be our own worst enemies when it comes to, you know, pursuing things, whether it is running, whether it is a business or education or whatever it is. And sometimes we're tough on ourselves. But this is why it's so important for me to track these things and continue to just see what I can do because... To me, it helps me reflect back on the progress, and this week is progress. So, oh, jeepers, we're we have jumping in, um, and you'll see on screen that I've got the full accumulative amount of total of 15 runs now. So week three was was five runs, and uh, that's from run 11 to run 15. Now we we started off the week with a 3.5, and then we went to a six, and then we went to a 4.76. 
a 4.3 and we've just done 18 which was a two hour long run and you know this week we did do the fart leg which was a bit of a new experience for me you know doing that time on feet i mean sorry being able to put the the speed play into play after continuing to just push 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 so you start off doing you know three minutes and then you know um one minute or so i think it was three minutes then one and a half minutes then one minute then 30 seconds and 15 seconds and continuing to just put that speed on with shorter breaks um and that that was more more of a challenge than i expected but it was really really good as well um now we didn't necessarily do more volume this week i mean if i compare to what we've done over the previous weeks you know so week two we did a total of you know 45k or uh if we do time on feet we did a total of five hours on 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 feet whereas if we look at week three what we've actually done is 36k so less uh however time on feet is less as well four hours so it's not exactly you know a heavier week but i was for some reason i was more concerned that this week was going to be a challenge and i think that was simply just because in the back of my head i know that i was going to be doing a long run um so all in all it's actually it's a, it's a dip week um but you know, over time, we're, we're, we're now sitting at some, some big, big numbers. So I think that's something also to remember is that we play these games in our heads where we confuse ourselves. So really happy with this week. As I said, we have done, <clears throat> excuse me, we have done a total of 36 kilometers this week. So nothing major, uh, but some really good efforts. Really, really happy with this. And the, the average heart rate for this week was, um, what are we looking at? We're looking at... 149 um so not too bad and the average distance for this week was only uh 7.3k um but let's let's look at look let's have a look at how we've been going overall so now at the end of week three we've done 125 kilometers averaging about 8.4 kilometers per run which is nice that's that's getting further over over time which i will add that to a graph as we progress a little further down the line so you can see that progress um We've done a total of just shy of 14 hours on feet now. Uh, elevation is 813. Now, what's interesting is this week, in terms of elevation, what have we done? This week we've done 335 of elevation, whereas last week we'd only done 200. So we've, we've upset elevation, which is really, really important. As you can see on the, on the dashboard here, it, it really has jumped up, uh, which is nice. Uh, total distance has obviously jumped up because of that two hour long run. Um, average heart rate, we're still sitting around 149, uh, which is really, really good as well. So something that's interesting is I'm feeling good. Um, I'm not feeling too bad. You know, the, I mean, once again, I, I don't want to tell people that, you know, this is easy either, but you know, I, I do have, you know, t I've got experience on my feet. I, I have done multiple marathons. I've done half marathons and I've been doing a half marathon every month and things like that. So, you know, this, this stuff isn't necessarily hard for me but it is still overwhelming because the 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 challenge is there to do more each week and you know that's a really good segue to reflect into what are we doing for week four and week four i'm meant to be doing uh oh jeepers yeah I'm meant to be doing even more uh runs so a total of six runs next week uh so if if you have a look you can see i've got an easy 40 minute on monday i've got a 60 minute on tuesday uh, a fart leg on Wednesday, uh, 75 minute on Thursday, I'm meant to rest on the Friday, and then on Saturday I need to do hills, and then a two hour run on the Sunday. Now, this will be an interesting week. I might shuffle things around a little bit just because I'm meant to be having my, my uh, trail running series race event number one on the Sunday, which is about a 15K, so that will be about that two hour mark, probably will end up being a bit more. Um, and that will also have some hills in it, so I might be able to combine the two and uh, rest um, you know, maybe still not start off till Monday. Anyway, I'll adjust that when I think about it and we'll, we'll play that back into next next week when I get to it. But that's something to consider. You know, I can adjust it. The hills section is, it's meant to be just getting out and doing hill repeats. Um, so that that's something new for the plan as well and, and new for me that I haven't really done in the past. So another big week coming up, you know, 60. Oh, good grief. It's, let's not get overwhelmed by it. We just show up each day, get it done and move on. So... Look, all in all, three weeks in, I'm feeling really, really good. Um, I wanted to be clear that I am doing, you know, yoga and stretching every morning, regardless if I'm running, you know, just making sure that I'm keeping the body 
you know, fit and solid and, you know, doing a bit of um, Roman deadlifts as well on, on Mondays as well or, or the off days. And I do do walks throughout the week as well, you know, on the same days of training days just to keep the legs fresh. And first time in the whole program, yesterday I got out my... Um, <laughs> my massage gun as well and we'll start to use that a bit more so very excited to see what we do next week and where we go hopefully we'll be able to get out and go to some new places and run with Carla as well which will be a lot more benefit because I also want to start training without using music and without using um, <clears throat> audible and things like that and that will be with Carla on those longer runs because we'll just chat and get used to what it's going to be like for race day um, yeah so pretty pretty solid it's nice to be able to have a smoothie and chill now um, but I hope I hope this has been informative for you. If there's things that you want to see, let me know. Um, I'm I'm very happy with this. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, it, it's it's just encouraging to come back here, reflect. I get excited to be able to come and look at this data and share it back with you guys because one, I'm excited to see the progress, and I think you know this is this is the sexy side of the things. You know, you're not seeing me sweating and you know, long hair with drips and and me you know complaining or huffing and puffing. This is this is where things are nice and and clean. So. Anyway, that's just me. Um, let me know your feedback. Let me know your comments. Really do appreciate you being here. And uh, of course, you know, this is only week three of a 16 week program. So we've got a long way to go. Um, but yeah, we're just getting started. Really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang and hustle. Ciao.